Good evening, everyone, and good morning, depending on when you listen to this. It's actually Friday night, and it's about 8 o'clock in the evening here in Pineville, Missouri, Central Time. And uh, I'm going to talk to you tonight. This is being prepared for Saturday morning. I want to talk tonight about revitalization. <laughs> revitalization you have the government talking about all these revitalization programs renewable energy restoring uh, the infrastructure <laughs> okay well we can also talk about those concepts in regards to our spiritual life I mentioned the other night there's a a hymn called Revive Us Again. Fill each heart with thy love. May soul be rekindled with fire from above. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, all men. Hallelujah, thine the glory. Revive us again. You know, when I was coming up, they'd have revivals. About every, oh, I don't know, a couple, three months, they'd have revivals. There's a scripture that says, turn us and we will be turned. We can't just make a decision that we're going to be revived or restored or revitalized. God's the one that has to do that work in our hearts. But we do need restoration. That's why the scripture in Lamentation says that his... Mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Glad to know that. Sometimes we get burnt out, you know. Um, an old, uh, hush it, well, they're old now. Um, I think it was a quartet or a trio. The Easter Brothers used to sing a song, I'm wore out. <laughs> wore out. You know, we need to have revitalization. We need restoration. We need um, to have our hearts revived and restored. I just got off the phone with a friend of mine who's he's 78 years old. I think he's 78 years old now, Walt Stickle. And he's doing a lot better. Um when you talk to older people, you realize that now I'm one of them. <laughs> you know, now I'm not 78 years old. I'm 10 years his junior, but uh, I need revitalization. I'm sitting here looking at my son, who's 12 years younger than I am. No, no, <laughs> much younger than that. 20, 22 years younger than I am. And I'm sure if you were to talk to him, he'd tell you, I need to be revitalized too. I need restoration. And my wife, I mean, you're not supposed to tell this about women. They're very conscious about their age. She's two years older than me. <laughs> but she's in better shape than I am. Even though she's two years older, she's in a lot better shape than I am. Well, anyway, he says, I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them. A new heart will I give you, a new spirit will I put within you. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. I beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called, with all loneliness and meekness, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit and the bond of peace. They that wait upon me shall renew their strength. Isaiah 40, verse 31. When I am weak, then am I strong. My God shall be my strength. He said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee. 
For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that my pow- the power of Christ may rest upon me. Let him take hold of my strength. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. The arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. I will not let thee go except thou bless me. Thou comest to me with the sword and with the spear and with the shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Well, I just read a number of passages, 2 Corinthians 12.10, Isaiah 49.5, 2 Corinthians 12.9, Isaiah 27.5, Psalm 55.22, Genesis 49:24, Genesis 32:26, First Samuel 17:45, and Psalm 35:12. If you want to look any of those up, well, we're not going to live forever. Queen Elizabeth just found that out, didn't she? She died yesterday at 96. She had a long life, 96 years. 70 years ruling on the throne, as it were. But I know someone that's ruled on the throne and will rule on the throne forever. He said, I am the Alpha. I am the Omega, the first and the last. He said, my kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. You know, God never dies. Remember that saying that the philosopher put out there, I think it was Khan or someone, said, God is dead. No, God is not dead. God has always been and will always be. He said, I am that I am. He's the first and the last. He said, there's none beside me. It's good to know that we're serving an everlasting king who sits on his everlasting throne. And even though he has his enemies, you know, you can find that in Psalm 2, why do the heathen rage in them? The heathen imagine a vain thing. But you know what? God laughs at them. He holds them in derision. Do you? Can you imagine someone shaking their fist in the face of God Almighty. Scripture tells us, hath not the potter power over the clay. And yet these heathen uh, are trying to come against Almighty God. And there's a lot of people that are coming against, trying to come against Almighty God right now. But I'm glad that we're serving a God who's proclaimed the victory. Jesus Christ said it is finished. The work is completed. There's more with us than be with him. We're on the winning side. With banners unfurled, we'll tell the whole world that Jesus is captain and we are his bride. There's nothing to fear when Christ is near, though fierce the conflict may be. We'll never give in in the fight against him because with Christ there's victory. There's more with us than be with him. Lord, open our eyes to see the mountains around with chariots abound. We're trusting alone in thee. The devil may boast and marshal his hosts and fight in the battle array, but with Christ in the lead, we're sure to succeed. He's already won the day. So be encouraged today. Realize that we are serving an everlasting king. God bless.